Good morning, people of the grid. It's Saturday, October the 8th. We're having breakfast here, Melissa and I. We're the first ones up. It's, uh, oh, you're not up. You're still in, you're still in bed. You're not up. It's 1030 in the morning. Tammy and I have a good excuse. We went to bed around 2.30, quarter to 3, because Tammy was doing some prep for Thanksgiving. But you guys went, you went to bed way early, Amelia. I woke up at 8. Did ya? So we're going to have some breakfast, and then we're going to go outside and get the bikes ready and maybe go for a ride. What are you hoping to, to do today, Melissa? Um, play with my cousin's summer. Play with your cousin's summer? And what do you have planned? What are you going to do, make some forts? Um, we always find like a secret spot together, like over there in the circle. Mm -hmm. So it was a pretty cold night last night. The uh, generator ran for, we just let it run. I think it probably ran out around four or five in the morning. So I'm going to fill it so that we're good to go for the rest of the day. And then Tammy's got uh, some power for baking too. Good for about another eight hours. So we're gonna get out on these guys today. That's what I'm riding. It's a Kawasaki out 140. This is a 110 Kawasaki that uh, the girls ride. Hey, people of the grid. So last night, um, because we're out here celebrating both Thanksgiving and my birthday, and Tammy's birthday is this month, Tammy's uh, brother, my brother-in-law Barry, gave us these really cool walkie-talkies for our birthdays. Testing. Hey Amelia, this is a walkie-talkie test. Can you wave and keep waving? Yay, successful test. are cold. I've got gloves but uh, oh look at the fox. There he is.
That was incredible! <laughs> This place is awesome. I got to bring the kids over here with the motorbikes. That was that one area when you come steep down the hill up there. It used to be really tough to get down. I think they could make it down here now. Wow, is it ever nice. Hey, just so you guys know, I had a little pit stop right here. This whole area, this deadfall that you see back there, and just everything, this whole area, this here especially, this whole area was flooded, and all of this debris was left. If you take a look, like that debris pile up there, that's about as tall as I am. It's about six feet tall, and in some places it's even higher. So that, that river, this is a couple of years back now, it brought all this debris down, and it just covered this whole area with debris. There's more of it right there. You can see kind of built up against the trees how it just sort of stacked up as the water level was rising. And then when it all water level dropped, all the debris just stayed behind. But boy, it sure looks beautiful now. This is Ken and Aska's country. It's in the Rocky Mountains. And it is some of the most beautiful area I have ever seen. This is our backyard. Ah, crap. So I was coming up, I had all the gear, and I hit this rough spot right there. Actually, I hit this spot right over here. Let me get down. Quad ended up going this way, and then as I was backing up, it rolled over. I bailed to get out of the way, and then I had to run away as the quad was tumbling back towards me. It ended up rested against that tree, steering wheels bent, so. Now I gotta try and get it back up the hill. And I messed up my hair and I ripped my pants too. But I'm good. I got a radio with me. Ethan and Ty are just up on in the gravel pit, so they're gonna come give me some muscle to help. Oh man, that's heavier than it looks. So I've gotten it to this point by myself. I gotta put it into gear because once I get it off of there, it's gonna roll down that hill. This is steep. All right, I've got it right sided up. Now just to see if it'll start and get back up the hill. It is Golden Boy, so I'm crossing my fingers. Okay, I'm gonna just stay there. That's enough for one day, I think. <laughs> yeah. So the beauty of this place is that uh, all of our campsites are labeled, see? 
so you know exactly where you're camping so you just ride out from your trailer you hop on this trail and you go out to uh, the wilderness there's Clayton Patricia Gary and Brandy and there's us Mmm, that ham is delicious, baby. So cheese. Thanks. Yeah, that is really nice. When Tammy made some pies and jellos, that's for me, raisin pie. This one is pumpkin pie, apple pie, raisin pie, and some yummy jello. Wow, Tam. Looks good. How are you doing, Barry? How's your head? Good. <laughs> Barry used his head. To test the strength of the trailer, he walked right into a sharp corner. That would be the same. No, cool. crazy man. That turkey looks good. Here's Clint. So how many are you? Is this like four turkeys, or what'd no, you do to run over them with your truck? No roadkill on the way out. Little roadkill. Little roadkill. That looks yeah. like good roadkill. It's all bacon wrap. Bacon, 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 meat. This is, this is how it started. Except those had. Oh, the they're nice... not even done then. No. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That looks really nice. It's asking. Hey people of the grid, it is 11.15 Saturday night. My legs are killing me. It was crazy what happened. I was riding the quad up the hill, the quad tips over, and it I thought it would actually come back down the front two wheels. They didn't. So I, when I realized it was going to start coming back on me, I just waited until the right moment, jumped off the opposite way, and I think I landed on my right quad muscle on a on a big rock that was sticking up on the trail and then I think I bounced over and landed on my left quad muscle on another rock I don't know if I tumbled two or three times down the hill like it is pretty steep in that one spot and then I knew the bike was coming so I looked up I see the bike coming it's just like Jurassic Park it's just doo -doom, doo -doom, doo -doom. Okay, so I got out of the way of that the bike goes by and it, it rested on the tree everything worked out fine the bikes uh, a little bit I've got the foot peg is really really bent so we're gonna try and fix that with a winch tomorrow it still runs runs great and uh, I'm fine other than uh, I'll be sore probably for a week but uh, it was a really fun day and for us this is a uh, Thanksgiving is awesome because in Canada we get Thanksgiving a couple of weeks before the US does so we get to go through the whole thinking process of what are we thankful for and I pretty much do that every day but you know this time of year you really get to focus on it and then we get to focus on it again when the Americans go through their Thanksgiving so we almost get to do it twice which is a real nice blessing you know to think about how good we really have it and and we really do we have everything we need we have food we have shelter and uh, of course our family and people that love us um, and a lot of people don't have that so this is uh, this is a time where I think not only uh, how thankful I am but what can we do what can we all do together to maybe change the world and and make sure that other people get this experience too so that's our job that's what I want you guys to think about if you can do something do um, do more and um, let's try and make the world a better place together and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow tomorrow is a big day because we're heading into town we're gonna go to mass I'm gonna pit stop at the house leave the laptop there I'm gonna upload the two movies yesterday's and today's have a great night have a great morning for you on the other side of the planet talk to you guys soon good night